Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the web serial library on the SP32 with a device acting as a soft access point. As target port I'm going to be using a Firebeetle board from DFRobot. So basically this tutorial follows up on the previous one where we learned how to use the web serial library and as I explained there uh, amongst the many usages of, of this library one interesting one is for debugging because it allows us to basically deploy the SP32 somewhere let's say around the house, in, in a building, whatever, and not be connecting to our computer and still we can use a serial, uh, wired serial-like interface to get information from the SP32 to send information to the SP32. Like we have covered in the previous tutorial, a very simple introduction example, we were basically receiving some hello world messages from the device, but obviously they could be debugging messages, they could be informative messages about whatever program was running on the SP32. Nonetheless, um, you may think, okay, this is nice, but I need to actually have a Wi-Fi network, so the SP32 connects to that Wi-Fi network, the computer connects to that network, and only then they can talk. But actually, one of the advantages of using the SP32 is that it can act as a soft access point, so basically, let's say, as a sim uh, to simplify, it can act as a, our router and our host um, a a Wi-Fi network that then a computer can connect to and we can still establish the same communication using the web serial library without having uh, the necessity to have an actual Wi-Fi network hosted by a router um, to be able to, to establish this communication and then to do debugging or wherever is what you want to use the web serial um, library to. So, basically this sits on top of the previous tutorial, the parts related with configuring web serial and also configuring the SP32 to act as a soft access point is something that we already covered also in previous videos, so I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can consult and go deeper uh, in that subject if you want, but here we are going to cover the basic code which is really simple. So jumping right to the code, we'll start by the include, so the Wi-Fi.edge library allows us um, Typically, in other examples, we use this, uh, this include to have access to, to the object that allows us to connect to Wi-Fi network. But when we want uh, to have the SP32 acting as a soft access point, it's also by including this library and using uh, the object it exposes that we can then configure the SP32 uh, to act this way, to, to assume the role of an access point. Then we are going to need the ASP async web server .edge library. It is necessary under the hood uh, to serve the interface of the web serial uh, library, the one we have covered in the previous tutorial, also to uh, establish a web socket uh, endpoint so that the interface, the front end interface of the web serial can communicate with the SP32. Uh, although all the details are hidden from us, uh, which is a good point, but basically we need to, to include this and to create a, um, a HTTP server instance ourselves before we can use uh, the web serial features. Then obviously the web serial uh, library we need to include it here so we have access to the features we, we need um, to serve the UI etc so all of that uh, is here. So f uh, moving forward uh, basically I I've defined here two, uh, two strings they contain the um, and the, the information about the access point we are going, the Wi-Fi network that we are going to host in the SP32. So here the SSID or the name, basically this is service set identifier, but it is the name of the network. I've called it my SP32 AP, so you can call it wherever you want. And then the password, so we want our uh, Wi-Fi network to be password protected. Obviously I've chosen here something very simple. Please do not do that in a real scenario, we use a strong password, but basically this is just uh, the password that will be requested whenever joining to the network. In my case, since I was already testing this, it won't ask me the, the password again, I'm actually already connected to the network, but the first time you uh, try to connect to the, to the Wi-Fi network hosted by the SP32, you'll need first to choose um, this name amongst your available networks, the one that will appear when you scan them with your computer and then to put this password. Then, like we have done in the previous uh, video, we need to create an instance of this async web server um, a class, so we create an object of this class and basically uh, this is the class that allows to set up the HTTP server on the SP32, also the WebSockets endpoints. Uh, it's actually a fully-fledged HTTP server, there's a lot of features, I've 
cover that in other videos. Here it will just be used under the hood by Web Serial. But if you are interested in uh, more advanced features, I recommend you to look up uh, how to work with the HTTP web server. It's very interesting and allows you to do a lot of stuff. So the constructor of this, of this class receives as input the port where the server will be listening. We'll use port 80, which is the default HTTP port. Uh, jumping to the setup, so we are going to create here uh, to initialize a wired connection, um, a serial connection, and like I mentioned in the previous video, this is just because we'll need to get the IP address uh, in this case of uh, the SP32 um, on the network that it is hosting. Uh, obviously, if if uh, if we go to a, to an application where we don't want to have a wired connection, obviously we cannot be printing this. But like I mentioned in the previous video, typically this IP address doesn't change. And I think for the soft AP, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't change at all unless we specify to change. So I think it's always the same uh, in the device. Anyway, you can print this only once. Um, to set up the device, you check what is the IP address and then you deploy the, the device on the field and you use that IP address. And in this case, with the soft IP, uh, it should be always the same. If I'm not mistaken, I think you need to force it to, to change if you want a different one. Anyway, like I also mentioned in the previous video, and I intend to cover that, you can also use MDNS, uh, which allow you to reach um, to reach the server without having to know its IP address. You reach it by name and then uh, using MDNS, the, the, the actual IP address will be resolved. But that's a, a topic for another video. So after that, we just go to our Wi-Fi extern variable, the one that gets uh, available from this include. And basically, we call this soft AP method, passing as first input the name of the network and as second input the password, uh, which are in variables that we defined earlier. So basically, it's just that. And from this point onward, we should have the SP32 acting as a soft AP. It should be hosting a network with the credentials that we have just passed. And like I mentioned before, after that, we are going to print uh, the soft uh, the AP address of the soft AP or, or the SP32. So we just call this method soft AP IP. Uh, and we call this method on our Wi-Fi extern variable, the one that we typically use to handle Wi-Fi related uh, stuff. So after that, we, uh, we have already it uh, uh, ready. So and then we need to move on to the configurations of Web Serial, like we have done in the previous tutorial. So we go to this Web Serial object. We call the begin method. We pass the address of the server we have just created here. And then under the hood, uh, the library will take care of all the configurations of setting up the endpoint to serve the UI of setting up the socket WebSocket endpoint. All of that will be handled. Past that, we need to call the begin method on our server object, so it starts listening to incoming requests, and from this point onward, we should be good to go. We should have um, we should have the application serving the UI, and we should now be able to access it, provided that our computer, the one that we are using to do our tests, is also connected to the Wi-Fi network hosted by the ASP32. Then the main loop, like we have done in the previous tutorial, let's just print an hello world message. Uh, once every second. Obviously, you can play around with the message, with the period periodicity. Uh, feel free to change this and see what happens. So uh, it's very easy to, to, to change it. Uh, from this point, that's the code. It's very simple. Like you have seen, the, the part of configuring the soft AP is basically independent of the configurations of the server um, and web serial, so they kind of are in different layers, so they don't need to know about each other. Everything will work as expected. I'm already connected, as you can see here on the bottom right, so my SP32 uh, access point, I'm not going to, to, to leave and join again because it won't ask me the password, etc. And in your case, it may be dif uh, different and depends on your operating system, but basically uh, you should just check for all the networks that you have look for the one with his name, put this password, and then wait for the connection to be established. Uh, then don't forget, you need still need the IP address of the SP32. In that case, you should open a serial monitor tool. So I'm using here uh, the Arduino EDS serial monitor tool. If you are uh, also a platform IO user, you can also do it from here. Uh, open the console like you are seeing here. I have also tested this in platform IO and works perfectly. Um, after that, so let me just go back. 
you copy the IP address, like you can see here, and then you go to a, a browser of your choice. In my case, I'm on Google Chrome. You just put here the IP address. In some browsers, you might to put first HTTP, uh, column slash slash, then the IP address, then slash, and web serial. Okay, so this is important because uh, this, um, the web serial library is expecting us to reach the web serial endpoint. It's the endpoint that is configured to be serving the UI that you are serving here. If you try to access, for example, the root path, they can keep in consideration that it won't redirect you there. So you actually need to go to web serial. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just back and you can see here the same interface from the previous tutorial. The hello world message is being printed and like uh, expected, so everything works regardless if we are connected to a Wi-Fi network, um, hosted by a router or if we are actually connected uh, to the SP32 uh, hosting that network. So it works both ways. It gives you another, uh, I would say, more flexible way also of testing, deploying your device. Uh, hope this is useful for your applications. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day.